Hi friends, it's Liz here. Thanks so much for joining me today. I am so excited to share this video with all of you. So I have an unboxing for a tattered dream and I also have a flip through of my most comp most recently completed junk journal um, at the end of the video to share with you as well. So let's get started with this uh, package of goodies. Now, I received this package from Denise from a tattered dream. Hi, Denise she um oh my gosh she was so kind enough to send me all these goodies i am a member of her design team now which i am super excited about but this also means that you'll be seeing lots of these goodies in my projects going forward so i'm pulling out the pieces that she has sent and i was just amazed by all the goodies in here now i ordered um a little package of goodies and um then she, um, you know, she mentioned she was going to be sending me her design team package along with it. So I can't believe how many goodies are in here. So I'm going to just unpack things. I'm going to try and leave the paper sounds for those of you that enjoy them. And I'll just share with you the gorgeous pieces that she has sent. So thank you so much, Denise. I really appreciate it. I am so excited to be part of your design team. I just I can't believe it I'm overwhelmed by the goodies and I'm overwhelmed by the ladies that are on the team um, so I'm really honored to be part of it so thank you so much these are her little um, I believe she calls them fabric samplers I know she has uh, different colors of them right now but this was one of her Late at her last ones that she set, she sold out the sets they're just beautiful i'll show you a little bit more on what they look like um afterwards because i'll take them out and just show you a picture of how beautiful these fabrics are and then of course the trims and ribbons i'm just in love with the colors the packaging is amazing and i can't wait to use all these goodies in my projects so the next thing it looks like it's a paper bag than this one and i am beyond excited about these paper bags because as you know i love working with paper bags i have many many projects that i've shared with all of you some tutorials as well i'll link some of those below if you haven't seen them but my most recent one is my loaded paper bags um, little holders and oh my goodness i can just imagine how many i can make with these so you'll definitely be seeing me make a lot more projects with paper bags going forward so she has um a variety of sizes in the shop from what I can see here and I can't wait to get started with those these ones I think this is the package the little package that I had ordered I've been wanting some of these um, I think they're definition cards and the rosettes for a little while because I really I mean I haven't gone out shopping guys since COVID and I you know I rarely went out shopping before so look how beautiful these are so these are the um, French definition cards I love these little florals so they come in four these are the ones that I wanted initially and then of course the um the torn hand torn ribbons oh my gosh they're just beautiful the fabrics and now it looks like this is a lot more of those beautiful pieces so I can't wait to show you what's in here as well don't forget to check all the links below I will leave everything in the description box if you're interested in anything you see here so these are the eyelash trim. I love, love, love the colors. And then these are her hand frayed fabric uh, trims as well. And look at the variety of colors and the texture of the fabric is just so nice. Like it's so soft and I can't wait to work with these. So more of these little eyelash, light tr uh, eyelash trims and yarns she's got such a variety of them in the shop from what i can see look at these oh i've been wanting these as well so you've got such a variety and i think these are like maybe an inch torn pieces i'm not quite sure you'll see them in the shop where how she's listed them but i love how she's packaged them in these little um you know ribbon little cards and i just really love how those came out so the next one I'm showing you is, I believe, more of the trims and um, rosettes. And oh my goodness, it's just so fabulous to have some new pieces to work with. So 
Um, these ones I think are called, um, I'm trying to think of the name here. They're called uh, ring fasteners, I think. I have been wanting these for such a long time. I really don't have a lot of places to shop. I am in Canada. So these coming from her are just such a treat to have and I can't wait to use them. I already have some ideas just from opening these little bags of goodies here. And then she sent some of these beautiful metal book plates or I guess label holders as well. And there's three here, I believe. And then you've got these metal book corners. They're like an antique finish. Oh, and these ones, I've been wanting these for so long. They're those um, vintage style safety pins. So they're just beautiful looking. Look at them. Oh my goodness, I love these so much. So you can just see all the goodies she has in the shop. And then these are smaller book corners, the metal book corners. And then of course, the variety of laces. Such a nice variety here. And then this is an embroidered trim, I believe. And then some uh, laces, different sizes. And then more of these really beautiful, they're like chiffon rosett rosettes, I believe. And I love all the colors and stuff. So I can't wait to try and work with these. I've seen people have some of the tinier ones as well. They're super cute, but these like these ones feel like they're so beautiful and giant. So the next little pack has lots of tags. And um, and I love how she just ties that little ribbon around everything. Isn't that just cute? Now, I have never seen these. These look so amazing. And of course, she's got the guest checks. And then you've got these layaway tags, which are also different than what I've seen before. And then these uh, inventory tags, double-sided, which are very nice. Oh, and I love these um, envelopes with the windows. So those are what, CD envelopes? Oh, in tiny versions of them as well with the tiny little um, envelopes with the uh, the windows as well. And then these seem to be the larger um, white envelopes with the large flaps. So these are very nice because they're not like your average um, envelopes, I guess. You've got these really cute um, tags, price tags, merchandise tags, I guess, these ones as well. This is a nice color, very vintage looking. And then she sent more of these vocabulary flashcards in English and in French, which is fabulous. Love, love, love. I can't wait to use those. And then these little um, garment tags, I believe, and more, um, more of these uh, tags as well. Now these weekly time records, I've been wanting these as well so bad. And then she has this uh, retro looking ledger paper which is just just fabulous I love 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 all these pieces so Denise thank you so much for such a fabulous design team package I'll definitely be using oh my gosh so many of these pieces in my work I'm getting so inspired just going through um the uh, bags and of course you know the um the paper bags that she sent with uh, the goodies I'll be able to use those as well so these are very large love 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 the size of these ones wow and then um, she's got different sizes back here as well oh I love all the different sizes and designs so I'll like I said I'll leave the links in the description box below so you can check out her shop Oh, I love these time cards. I have seen many of the ladies work with these and I can't wait to get started on them as well. And then these are vintage robot catalog pages, Sears robot uh, catalog pages and braille paper. Oh my goodness. I have been wanting all of these pieces for so long. So my mind right now is just, oh my gosh, I'm feeling so inspired just holding these pieces. This just feels so amazing. And then this um, this catalog paper is just beautiful. The, the texture of the paper is just so nice. And this has lots of little carriages on them. So cute. So I can't wait to show you those. And then this bag seems to have doilies. Now I'm trying to not rip things apart because I love to reuse you know, as much as possible. And um, I can't wait to, uh, to repurpose every piece here. 
so there's lots of doilies here so these tiny ones oh i've got these and i love how these feel these ones i hadn't seen before the rose embossed doilies i believe she calls these and then you've got these six inch ones which are beautiful with the intricate lace on them and then of course the larger ones these are i think 10 inches because they're quite big so i can't wait to make more of my little uh, envelopes with these if you haven't seen that video i'll link it below i've made some envelopes with all these so i really really love this thank you so so much i can't wait to get started check out denise's shop a tattered dream i will link it below i hope uh, you enjoyed the unboxing i'll definitely be using a lot of these in my work and i can't wait to show you what i make with them so i'll show you a little picture of these so you can see them close up you can see how beautiful the, the fabrics are and the of course the different trims okay so thank you so much denise this is such an amazing package i can't wait to work with it oh my goodness i'm so excited um and uh let me just show you a quick overview of what's in here and then i'll give you a flip through of my latest journal wow i just i can't even believe how many things i just uh, received okay so now i have a share of my most recently completed personal junk journal it was done so that I can finish it really quick. And this one was done with uh, using a Daphne's Diary magazine for the cover. So it started April 1st. That's when I started it. And of course, this was, I think, two weeks into um, our COVID-19 shutdown um, for the pandemic. So that's uh, that's when I started this. Now, again... I keep a journal for creative, you know, bits for collaging, um, more kind of like more of a relaxed journal. And then I also keep a personal journal for just writing. So this one is, you know, when I had moments that I had some inspiration and I wanted to get creative in a journal, this is what I do with it. And then of course my personal journal has so much writing in it. So you can see I've just used lots of different things. There's a lot of themes about staying at home, of course. Um, and just, you know, things that I have around. I like to just enjoy the moment if I had a few moments. And of course, we did. We were, we've been at home for, um, for a while. Uh, this was just an image of our... Um, of the lineup my husband had gone grocery shopping and this was the first lineup experience of getting in there so he took a picture of that and I added it to this journal and then here I just did a little bit more writing so you can see I also like to keep lots of spaces you know if I write some things I like to kind of hide them sometimes just to give the um, the journal a little bit of interaction and um, just sort of movement I like finding different, you know, places to add things. Like learn something new today. And yeah, it's um because I, I made this journal so that I could finish it quickly. Um, I didn't add that many pages to it. Oh, this is actually fabric here too. And I like that texture. Um, this one's also fabric. And then here this comes out. So of course I've written things behind cards and that sort of thing. This I have to figure out what to do. I wanted to do that sort of layered effect, but when I stapled it, one of the staples just sort of didn't stick. And that's because I stapled this after I had glued the parts up. This is a paper clip that comes off. I got this in, um, in Happy Mail. And then here again, just, you know, more, more places to, um, to hide things I've written. So this one actually is where I started looking at what I wanted to do for my actual digitals. So I had started my digitals a while back. I've been playing around with, you know, what I wanted to make, etc. So of course this is, um, this is one of the little bags. I have sets of these in the shop. Then I've got my tag sets now that are 
already out. So it was, you know, it's sort of my, my pre-planning, um, my thoughts of what I wanted to do. This is one of the tags in one of them as well. I, I really like this page. Like I said, it was just um, moments to play around, to add things that made me happy at that moment. Almost like a reflection time, you know. And I love the back. So, of course, this is one of my collage strips. I have a, a video showing you how I make these. They're so fun and easy to make. And then I had to add this quote on the back, you know, because I thought um, it was exactly, you know, what we do um, when, when things are just too much. We go to our ink and our journals and and get it out so anyway so that's a quick flip through of this one I have started another one so um, I've started a smaller one as you can see and I'm still trying to keep the theme of using my Daphne's diary magazines so I think if I have pre-recorded a video of this one I want to show you what it looks like before I have filled it because I think that's something that is um, you know that you always want to see how did it start before you know it gets all full of goodness and of course I have a, a video sharing lots of my completed journals if you haven't seen that I will link it below as well or in the card above it's just to me, I love seeing uh, people's completed journals. I get inspired, I get ideas, you know, what they add to their pages. It's just, it's what I love. I love paper, I love journaling, and I love to combine, you know, collaging and that sort of thing together with it. So I hope you enjoyed the share. Thank you so much for joining me today, and I will come back and show you how I fill in some of these pages.